So the first Christmas that me and my husband spent together, we decided to buy a real Christmas tree. To cut a long story short, it turned out that the tree was covered with tiny black worms that fell out all over our living room. In all my Christmases, I had never seen worms on a tree like that before. It was honestly horrible, and I don't really mind bugs, but we had to get the tree out of there ASAP. The more that we looked at them on the ground, the more that we could see that they were trying to burrow into our carpet. I think back all these years and still get stressed out about all those worms continuously dropping off the branches and onto the floor. Hey guys, scary stories here. I found an interesting story for you that I'd like to share. This one's called... A spy cam in my Christmas tree caught more than just Santa. Um, if you enjoy the story, make sure you check out the author, the, uh, the person who originally posted this. Their username should be on the screen here somewhere. Menen Lisset, something like that. Uh, a lot of good posts over there. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoy the story. Last year on Boxing Day, I found a really cool ornament in a clearance box. It had a built-in camera to record a unique perspective of your holiday celebrations. I grabbed the last one off the store's dusty shelf and brought it home for less than $10. I honestly forgot about it until my wife, my two daughters, and I decorated the house earlier this month. I told my daughters about the camera and said that we'd secretly catch Santa in the act. This seems kind of risky, but... I had an old costume in the attic, and intended to deliver the gifts in full view of the camera on Christmas night. My girls were overjoyed, and went back and forth trying to find the best place to put the ornament on the tree. They had no idea that Daddy was going to reposition it, so that it could actually record the living room at a good angle. Also, I have to say, Daddy a few times in this, so... I'm sorry. In the nights leading up to Christmas, I turned on the camera to make sure everything was working properly. In the morning, I previewed the footage just long enough to confirm that the thing was working right. Wholly satisfied, I inserted the micro SD card back into the ornament and slipped in a new battery in anticipation for the big night. Daddy didn't want to disappoint his girls with a failed recording. We enjoyed Christmas Eve as a family, playing board games and eating way too much junk food. Like we do every year, we let our daughters open one gift from Mommy and Daddy before going to bed. The girls, still riding their sugar high, could be heard giggling in their bedrooms from all the way up the stairs. From time to time, my wife and I could hear one of them shush the other, claiming she heard hoofs on the roof or bells jingling. Eventually, though, our kids dozed off. My wife kissed me on the cheek and headed to bed herself while I turned off all the lights. I retrieved the costume and tiptoed into the living room, getting ready for my big feature film debut. I did everything that you'd expect Santa to do. I ate most of the cookies, I drank the milk, I pet my large stomach and said my ho-ho-hos. I then walked over to the fireplace and dropped a few presents by it. This was all done within full view of the camera, of course. A pretty good acting job, if I do say so myself. The next morning, Christmas, the girls came running into our bedroom to wake us up. They excitedly insisted on watching the video before opening any of the presents. I transferred the footage to my laptop, forwarded it to where Santa showed up, and pressed play. My girls squealed with delight and jumped in front of the screen, frantically waving at Santa while obscuring the video from my view. It brought me so much joy to see how happy they were. I was too lazy to stop the video, so it continued to play in the background while we unwrapped our presents. That's when I noticed a box I didn't see the night before. It was small and wrapped in blue foil that I didn't recognize. My name was on it, but my wife seemed as surprised as I was to see it there. 
Noticing my confusion, my youngest daughter spoke up. Daddy, that's got to be from Mr. Elf. She said this in her most cheerful and bright tone, which I can't convey as a, uh, yeah, maybe I'll pitch the voice up or something. I was ready to dismiss her elf comment as just another weird thing that kids say, but my wife wasn't so quick to ignore it. She turned to her daughter and asked, Honey, what elf? Our daughter then pointed to the laptop. By then the video had ended and all that was left on the screen was a preview of the first frame. The one that came with Santa, she answered. Panic struck me like a bird on a jet propeller. Like a bird in a jet propeller? Hmm. Oh, like... Okay, I get it, never mind. I know my wife didn't dress up like an elf. I scanned the video, clicking forward and back, until I saw what my daughter had seen. There was someone in the living room besides myself. I mean, besides Santa. He walked into the corner of the room after I had turned the lights off. He stood there watching me, parading around as Santa. The video went completely silent after that. It was as though the camera failed to record a single sound. The strange, tall man in an elf costume stood perfectly still for over an hour, watching the camera the whole time. After a while, he walked over to the plate of cookies and bit the head off a gingerbread man. I glanced over to the plate and saw his teeth marks on the decapitated cookie. The man then quietly approached the Christmas tree. I thought the audio wasn't working, but as he reached the tree, I began to hear his slow, steady breaths. He reached out towards the camera, and then the video stopped. In a terrified frenzy, I grabbed the blue box that he left behind. I tore the bow off of it and threw the frilly thing aside. I frantically removed the wrapping paper, opened the box, and looked inside. This all seems like a really bad idea. There, on a bed of bubble wrap, was the battery I placed in the camera the night before. My wife took the ornament, opened the back, and the battery was missing. I don't know what scares me the most, what the camera caught, or what the elf might have done after he turned the camera off. Well, what did you think of that one? Hopefully you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you did, check out the person who posted it, Man in Lisette. This story is like 10 years old, but they do have a lot of stuff on their profile, so you'll probably find something you like on there. And also worms, right? Like, could you imagine bringing a tree home and then having worms go everywhere? Like, seems kind of gross. Anyways... I'm sure I'll have another few videos up before Christmas, but if I don't, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great one. I hope you give a lot of presents, get a lot of presents, eat a lot of cookies, have some chicken or turkey, whatever you do. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you on the next one. Hope you have a good night. Bye for now. Daddy didn't want to disappoint his girls with a failed recording. Mm. Okay. <laughs>